and apologize in advance for this tutorial because this is my third take. I was 57 seconds over last time and I'm just not doing that again. So I'm, I'm just going to show you how this works really quick. Um, this is the Zen AMF protocol through uh, the Zen framework. You can download it at framework.zen.com and extract it somewhere outside of your web directory. Um, I have all of my code written out in advance. Again, I'm sorry, I'll try to go over it a little bit, but there's not really a lot to it, honestly. So here we go, we got the stage, we have stupid gradient on it, and we have a dynamic text field, and the dynamic text field has an instance name, a body underscore TST. And then if we go over to Zen Studio, we have boot.php, which could just as easily be index.php. We have error reporting to all straight, any set to display errors on, any set to include the include path, um, semicolon, and a direct path. This is probably not the easiest approach, but this is what works for me. Um, for Mac and Unix users, I believe this would be a colon. The rest would be uh, would be forward slashes rather than backslashes. Also note that I have single quotes here. That's because the slash F is an escape sequence and that will totally screw up your path. Um, require once Zend AMS server.php. Require once body.php. That'll be our class. Server equals new Zend AMS server. Yada yada yada. You can read. <laughs> so here's the body class. And we have a public function body, which is simply just a MySQL connect and a MySQL select DB. And then we have a public fun function get home, which just selects all from customers where name equals end AMF. I'm going to temporarily change that to Kevin and save it. And T equals array. While well, row MySQL fetch a soch, array push T row return T. Okay, so that should send an object to Flash, and we'll go over the action script code. And I have a variable AMF connect, data type to net connection equals new net connection, AMF connect dot connect, and this is the path to that boot file, which could be index.php, it could be anything. And var AMF response set to responder, on result on error. AMF connect call and this is the class and this is the method AMF response function on result equal an object void we have a little for loop in here we're going to comment this out temporarily and uncomment the trace statement and hit control enter and I have to close the action so you can see this I am not a fig plucker nor a fig plucker son, but I will pluck figs until the fig plucker comes. We'll close this out, and then we'll go back to our actions, and we'll comment out the trace statement, and then the dynamic text field was body underscore txt, we put dot text after that equals e, and then i between the brackets, dot body. So we will test the movie again, and we will see that loading right into flash awesome now if we go back to this file and I remove that and go to Zend AMF and save it you will see this is not magic <laughs> it just loads based on your query and of course this could all be set up create, creating um, dynamic methods you could have another method that says get about get uh, services get contact whatever and load you know whatever tables and columns you need to load and that is beautiful that is easy that is very very little code and that makes uh, content management and displaying uh, MySQL information in flash pretty easy uh, so even for a noob like me um, I would like to set this up to integrate with my navigation code but unfortunately I'm not that experienced in ActionScript 3 yet I will probably put a more advanced tutorial up within the next week or so so that you can see how some of that works loading on different pages and such 
without making a ton of separate classes. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.